I've been through about seven, I think, different Fender Mustangs, and all of them have sounded different from each other. I'm no guitar guru or anything. In fact, I really suck ass. But I think everyone can agree that when you find the perfect sounding guitar, it's apparent. It's special sounding. It just feels right. You can just tell. The lovely, wonderful Mustang. And if anyone's ever owned a vintage guitar, you can totally learn to appreciate like the smell of the, uh, the muskiness as soon as you open up the case. <laughs> now my Fender Competition Mustang has the original stock bridge on it, but I really want to put a tunematic bridge on there. I had one on there before and I remember not liking how it sounded. I didn't like it so much that I like took it off instantly. So I don't remember what it was that I didn't like about, but I remember it changing the sound like a lot. I figured today, why not make a video of before and after of putting the tunematic bridge on the Mustang. So I've already recorded some samples with the original bridge and we'll compare it to that. So let's put on the tunematic bridge now and we'll go from there.
Nope. All the nope. 100% nope. This just reminds me why I don't like the way the two pneumatic bridge sounds. I just don't like it. it. Doesn't sound good to me. It takes like all the beautiful sound out of the guitar and just makes it sound really metallic. That being said, I remember now, last time I put a two pneumatic on the Mustang, I made sure to use really old broken in strings because I hate new string sound. It sounds, I hate, hate new string sound. I'm the type of guy that like leaves strings on the guitar for like five years until they're just like rust themselves off, you know? But anyways, yeah, it just, I don't know. It, it doesn't sound good to me. So I don't know. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Which one, I mean, if any of y'all like the Tunematic bridge sound more with the new strings, I honestly don't know shit about guitars. But if there's anyone really experienced out there that might be able to tell me why it sounds like that and why it's doing it, I would like really like to know. This gulpy type of sound, I've also heard it on Kurt's live recordings. None None of the studio stuff sounds like it but i've heard this gulpy weird tone also with his mustangs live maybe it is new strings i really don't know i guess what i'll do is just wait for the strings to like mature or whatever and then i'll try this test again later but uh i don't know i don't think it's gonna change much so yeah oh and by the way i figured i'd let y'all know the in utero tone recreations is coming together really well um it's just taking a long time to do because it's so difficult to get some of these tones it's so hard like here hold on i'll, I'll show you See if I can make this focus. Okay, so here's Scentless Apprentice I'm working on. Okay, so we got Scentless Apprentice pretty much down. Here's Milk It, which is almost there, but something's still missing. Let me see. Melkit is almost there, but not quite right yet. I'm telling you, it is really hard to recreate a lot of these tones. It's super difficult. Almost got the solo nailed for Heart Shape Box. We're getting there, making progress. I'll try to get some more tone recreation videos done soon. Oh, lastly, thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. When I started posting guitar videos, I wasn't doing it for subscribers or anything. It's just because I absolutely love Nirvana tone. I love guitars. I love this shit so much. And I just wanna share it with you guys. So anyways, thank you again. Thank you so much. I know it's not a lot. Like I have a cinematography YouTube channel that has like, I think almost 7,000 subscribers now. But I don't care about that. It doesn't matter. The content is what's important. But anyways, guys, um, I had fun. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.